Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, this is Business Live on Join News. Let's start the bulletin with a compilation of major headlines in the world of business. So time now to go for our summaries. The second deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Elsie Adu Awachi, has explained the central bank's decision to clean up the banking and financial sector. The cleanup, according to her, is a dedicated balancing act to ensure sanity in the banking sector. She said failed banks become serious sources of risk for the financial system and the economy, hence the reason for the cleanup. She, however, stated that the central bank is rolling out a number of measures to make the banking sector more robust following the crisis in the sector. The coalition of textile workers in Ghana have expressed disappointment in the current government for failing to act swiftly in dealing with piracy in the textile industry in Ghana. Spokesperson for the coalition has disclosed that, after a series of complaints against piracy, the government drew a roadmap that was expected to be implemented in September 2018. However, as the timeline was approaching, he said the government invited the textile workers to a meeting and revealed that the implementation of the roadmap had been forwarded to 15th October 2018. This postponement, according to them, showed a lack of unwillingness on the part of the government to deal with the piracy menace that, according to them, is killing the local textile companies. Importers and the business community will no longer have to worry about the impact of the city's never-ending fluctuation on their cost of doing business at the ports. Government has disclosed plans to fix exchange rates at ports for a six-month period. According to Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the move, which will ensure that the exchange rates at which goods are cleared at the ports can only be reviewed after every six months and will promote predictability, price stability and proper planning for businesses. Dr. Baumia was speaking at the opening of a three-day Ghana Industrial Summit and Exhibition 2018 in Accra, organized by the Association of Ghana Industries, and said the decision has become necessary owing to a review of numerous complaints received by government's economic management team. Cryptocurrency analysts are urging the Bank of Ghana to expedite processes to formulate laws to regulate their business. They want the regulator to step in to avert a possible controversy between it and the patrons of the product. The increase in interest in the use of cryptocurrency has been met with mixed reactions considering the complex nature of the system. Some have advocated for the model to be accepted in Ghana's financial system, while others have argued against the move. But an advocate of cryptocurrency, Professor Nina Kukweno, believes addressing the regulatory gap should be of priority to the Bank of Ghana. Sony has announced the miniature version of the first PlayStation console, which originally launched in 1994. The mini version will come with 20 retro titles, including Final Fantasy VI and Tekken III. The PlayStation Classic is around half the size of the original and is due to launch on December 3. One expert said nostalgia was driving interest in retro consoles, which offer a means of making historical video games more accessible. The console is the first of Sony's video game machines to be given this kind of compact makeover. Nintendo has previously made mini versions of its NES and SNES consoles, which also included a set of preloaded classic games.